Hey, evening everybody. I had to record this a second time because Streamlabs wanted to be awful and not um, keep my whole recording, so I had to do it on a different uh, format here. But here we are doing the second video. Please like, comment, and subscribe as you enjoy the content. Trying to get to 100 subscribers by the start of next week. We're at 93 now, so please help us to do so. We really appreciate it uh, here at Sports Fanatic News with all the guests that hop on with me and myself. I really appreciate it. But this game... Uh, the key is the meme that's on uh, social media. The Philly, Philadelphia Flyers have been like the Phillies' bullpen when it comes to defending leads. Um, they need to get better at it. They are going to get better at it when Cooch gets back just by default. But before that, it just th th this team almost seems like they have to play a very defensive game at the end of the game, and that's the only way they're not going to blow a lead. Because trying to do both things obviously don't work without Couturier in. Um, at this point, if we take a lead on Friday... I would honestly say play a de facto a poor man's hurricane slash blue jacket slash when they're actually a, a um in a good winning spot. Coyotes just playing all defense to try to defend the league because the Flyers can't do both without Couturier. It's been proven already. We've blown a bunch of leads. We've just been able to persevere through them and win, so there's been no complaining as much. Um, so, but... With this game, I mean, with 7-2-2, two two, so I'm sure I'm not going to play too much, but you have to a little because this has been the big issue with this team, defending the lead. They stink at it. Um, they are, I think, as Cooch gets back, going to get better at it. I think as Ghost gets more of his legs under him, and once they figure out, as A.V. said before the game, who the heck the third defensive line is or Trey for another defenseman, which I think is likely to happen, um, they'll be able to solidify that defense more. The offense is fine, obviously. The offense has looked fine. Um... The first line didn't really look, other than the Vorchek goal, too great tonight, in my opinion. Um, the Lawton line honestly probably looked the best. Fairby was able to get that goal. And then Knack looked really good as positive, uh, being able to forecheck well and being able to get some of those big hits on him. Uh, Myers did not look good in some of the final plays. His first game that he had some issues in that led to uh, pivotal scoring um, by the other team and Pasta being able to tie the game who was able to get the hat trick. Pasta flamed us tonight. They had no answer for him. The Flyers had absolutely no answer for David Pasta or not. Um, and they gave, he said, you gave them a chance to come in in the end of the game and score. And I mean, the the Flyers, uh, they got a very bad start to this game, but then they got going. They should have been able to defend the lead. I feel bad, as Jamie Bascal pointed out, from the great Flyers, Nitty Gritty. Check out all of our stuff over there. I also write for them. It was a shame in this game for Carter Hart, because he played a good game and got hung out to dry by his defense. Um... I think Eric Gustafson did not play well again. Uh, he's had a couple nice plays on offense, but tonight he made mistakes, didn't even look that great in the offensive zone. Uh, Ghost, most people um, can get him moved around by David Pasternak. He's one of the most skilled players in the league, and look how good he's doing before he even gets his leg under legs under him. Like they said on the broadcast, imagine what happens when he does. But my three keys to tonight's game were Knack looked good, best game of the season for him. Uh, Carter Hart has continued to look good, and then defend the damn lead. Uh, going forward, you have to be able to figure out a way if it's being very defensive to end the game, playing boring style hockey, but just very defensive to defend the lead. Do it, uh, because that might be what has to happen in order for this team, when Couturier's not in at least, to keep a lead. They can't multitask, it doesn't seem, and try to be offensive while defending the lead. It doesn't seem like that works with the way this team is without Cooch right now and without a solidified third defensive pairing. Since Justin Braun might look good as people have posted, I've seen analytically in certain stats, but he's slow as molasses at this point of his career, and that's the big issue. It's not that he doesn't look fine when he's able to make the play. The problem is he can't make every play because he's slower than sap coming out of a tree at this point of, of his career. Um, so, and that's not really an insult. It's just a truth. Uh, I like what he's able to do when he's still able to get in front of the shots and still defend the man. He just can't stay with really most people in the league anymore to be able to do such. And Eric Gustafson is not a good pairing partner for Justin Braun because he's putrid at defense. He might be quick, but he doesn't get back at all. Um, so tonight's honestly the first play I saw him make a nice play on defense when he laid in front of that one block shot. But... Uh, he hasn't been good. Uh, you're probably going to have to trade for somebody. I would honestly go out and get other... I, I don't know if I would get Dermot because he's more offensive. I don't know if the Flyers need him out of the people mentioned. But Mete or Vince Dunn, I would 100% want on this team any day of the week. They would make the team better. Victor Mete 
is honestly a little underrated. He's a plus 29 for his whole career, if I'm not mistaken, off the top of my head. Um, and uh, it might be a plus 25. He's one of those two. But either way, he has a very good plus minus. He's good on both ends, uh, can move the puck a little bit for you, good passing defenseman, good defensively. He just ended up becoming, because of Romanoff and others, an odd man out in, um, in um, what's it called, Montreal, not not for any other reason other than the fact that they've just ha- built up their defense and picked up a guy like Edmondson and then have Romano come over. But I would say that would be a good decision there. But without getting off topic so we can wrap this up, uh, we can talk about that more in an overall video when I start my show. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Trying to get to 100 subscribers by the ne- start of next week. We're at 93 now. Really appreciate your support. Excuse me. But um, to wrap this up again, three keys were Knack had a very good game, his best of the season in my opinion, checked well, looked good. The bottom six honestly looked better than the top six in my opinion through and through. Uh, since Fairby got the goal, he's technically on the third line. Lawton got that nice assist on that play. The only guy that was able to do anything in the top six today was um, Voracek, was able to score the goal. Um, and Hayes had a couple nice plays, but overall I think he was a little bit off this game. Um, I honestly think the bottom six outplayed the top six tonight. And um, the Flyers were not able to defend the lead. That's honestly, obviously, the other key. And then Carter Hart still played a good game. It's a shame he would have had to lose. But this has been the Flyers' post-game reaction. Um, I think we're going to come out a lot sharper, a lot more pissed off and ready to really avenge a Um, this loss and come back and beat the Bruins. I think we're going to answer back with a nice anytime, anywhere win on Friday at the Wells Fargo Center against this Bruins team. They've got games at 7 instead of 8 with their uh, regular broadcast team of Jim Jackson and I'm I'm assuming it would be uh, Jonesy since he's the only other one that actually does it now um, since Bill Clement retired. Um, so, I don't know. It's going to be interesting now that I think about that, who actually, when Jonesy is away, is going to be calling the games with J.J. Um, since Billy retired. Um, but anyhow, that's something we'll find out in the future. Maybe Friday, who knows if Jonesy isn't available. But everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy the hockey tomorrow. And also, remember, Phantoms start on Saturday. First game is at 4. Get your deal on AHL TV. It's a great deal this year. And remember to watch them phantoms. Going to be a good team this year too, I think. Uh, Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Peace out.